Today I'm going to show you step by step how to create this blurry glass effect in Canva completely free. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. And before we start, I want to give credit to Lucy Digital. I'm gonna leave the Instagram handle in here because I took inspiration to create this tutorial from one of the videos that she published on her Instagram account. She creates content in Spanish, but I'm gonna leave the tag in here in case that you guys are interested in following her. Okay, so to start with, we're gonna create a social media document. So let's go to the social media section and from here, here I'm gonna select an Instagram post. So create blank. Once in the Canva editor, we're gonna select the photo that we want to use on the background of this design. So you can either upload a photo using the uploads section or you could use a photo available in the Canva library. If you have a Canva free account, go for the photos without the pro label all of these photos that you see right here are completely free and if you see the crown those are available for Canva Pro users or if you have a Canva free account and want to use that photo you will have to pay. I'm gonna go for a free photo so I'm gonna search for nature. I'm gonna select this photo for my design and I'm just going to drag it to the background of my empty page. I'm gonna bring the photo one more time so you will see that we have one in the background and one on top and then we're going to elements. We're gonna select a frame that is going to act as the blurry glass. Once you are in the elements section, go below until you see the frames section, select this arrow and then select this frame. We're gonna increase the size of this frame and then drag this photo inside the frame. Once you have the photo inside the frame, you're gonna click two times on the frame and then you're going to stretch your image until it matches the image behind. A simple trick to do this or what I like to do is to match the purple line on top with the edge of my page and the purple line below with the bottom edge of the page. And I do this by just dragging one corner up and one corner down. Then we're gonna select done. Now let's go to edit image, go to adjust and select see all. Now move the blur slider to the right. You can leave it at 30 more or less. And now we're gonna duplicate this frame so go to the toolbar and select duplicate. This time we're gonna select the color option and we're gonna select white. Then go to position, center and middle and we're gonna add some transparency to this new frame. And now we just need to add the elements that will go on top of this blurry glass effect. To do this, we're gonna go again to frames. We're gonna select a circular frame for our profile picture. We're gonna position this circle somewhere here and we're gonna add our profile picture. So I already have one of my pictures in the uploads section. Here I have my photo, so I'm just gonna drag it inside my circular frame. Now let's add the text boxes. I'm gonna press my key T I'm gonna use this text box for my name. So let's write Diana Munoz. This one, I'm gonna change the font to Montserrat Extra Bold. So Montserrat Extra Bold. Let's increase the size. We can duplicate this text box and then use Montserrat Classic. We're gonna add our handle in here, so add Diana Munoz. The one above should have a space between my name and my last name. Okay should look something like this. And now I'm just going to duplicate this text box again 
to add a quote. Okay, so I have my quote in here. I can increase the size of this text box so it's easier to read. And then I have a trick for you. We're gonna create the three dots that will go on this corner, but we're gonna use a text box instead of shapes. So I just typed the three dots and I'm going to increase the size of these three dots and leave them on this corner. Now what we are missing is a verification mark. So let's go to elements and search for verified. Here we have two free elements that we can use on this design. So let's adjust its size and position it next to your name. A final touch that you can adjust depending on the color of the photo that you are using on the background is to adjust the transparency of this shape or this frame right here. So we can go to transparency and move the slider to the right. In my case, I think my photo is slightly dark, so I need to move my slider to the right so the shape becomes a little bit more white and we are able to read our text better. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the position of these elements right here. I think they can go slightly down. And this is the final outcome. You have created a blurry glass effect. As I know that you guys are interested in creative designs, I have another tutorial for you in which I teach you how to create this 3D effect. So I'm going to leave you guys the tutorial in here and I'm also going to leave you guys the subscription button in here in case that you want to keep learning about Canva with us. I think this is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and see you in the next one. Bye!